What's going on guys? Welcome back to the trade recap. So we're going to walk you guys through some of the trades made on the day. It was not the most fun day. Uh, we are green about 400 bucks on the day after commission. It's more like 350 bucks. Uh, so still green on the day. Didn't really make a whole lot of money. Um, starting to feel that summer kind of grind the momentum slowing down a little bit. So after I kind of felt the summer momentum, you know, the slowness started to really just kind of aim at smaller scalp trades. And so it was just basically a blah day, uh, but green, love being green. So we'll walk you guys through the trades. So first trade was short on Roku, 800 shares at 88.22, covered up 700 shares at 87.98, felt the buying pressure come back in, held 100 shares to see if we'd continue down. I could feel the buying pressure coming back. So then I covered up my last 100 shares at 88.06. Um, so yeah, this is, so this short was basically because we were channeling down for the past couple days. We opened up, we tried to squeeze up multiple times, failed, figured we were going to roll down, took the short. This is where we start to see the buying pressure come back in. So the shorts all come in, we come in, we short it down. People are panic selling out, but it's continuously getting bought up. So it tells me we've entered into a demand zone. So then I shortly afterwards kind of flip bias. I uh, was waiting for some formation here that I didn't really get. So I ended up hopping in 1,000 shares long over the 200 moving average to see if we get a squeeze. We start to pop, but doesn't really squeeze, right? So I get in at 80, 89.36, take it off at 89.37, so didn't make any money there. Then we had this little miniature one minute flag break that I was gonna scalp, see if we got two candle continuation. I get in long 1,000 shares at 89.95, it doesn't really move. I get out at 89.49, end up losing a little bit of money on that trade. Um, so Roku just kind of battled me all day, wasn't getting any follow through, at least not for the moves I was trying to make. Uh, then afterwards I took 100 shares long. Uh, after seeing this grinding action in the demand zone, I figured, eh, sure, I'll swing trade it. So currently in long 100 shares swing trade at the top of the move on the day. So I'll probably be red at some point um, but going to be holding that for a swing trade. So Roku all together made 166 bucks. Not the prettiest looking trades on it, but is what it is. Uh, next one traded. I uh, actually didn't really trade this. This was a swing trade overnight. So ABBV. Um, so I ended up getting short. Wow, those that doesn't even make sense. I have no idea how that happens, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna be getting short a thousand shares at uh, 7340, and then kind of watch it. Figured this morning we kind of gapped down a bit, and then I woke up this morning. I was like, ah, I don't really want to keep it on anymore. So I ended up taking it off and made 150 bucks. Really, not much there. Uh, reason for this trade was if you look at the daily chart here, um, it had gapped down bounced back so i figured overnight we had a we'd have like a little bit of a one night pullback which we did um which i did trade but it, it probably wasn't the best trade to take in the first place so that's usually that's why i took it off pretty quick um nonetheless made 150 bucks on it okay amd let's go to amd So AMD here uh, made a trade for this cup and handle formation. Cup, handle, trade the breakout here. Whenever you're trading breakouts, you tend to have to be pretty fast with it because uh, if you don't get the follow through, it's going to pull back on you just like you can see it did. Uh, so I ended up getting in 3,000 shares. It popped in 3,000 shares at 3,108. It pops up to 3,113. I take off 2,000 shares. I'm holding... 1,000 shares left. I take off another 500 at 3111. And then I can see the selling pressure come in. We're not going to get continuation in the move. So I take off the last little bit of shares at 3105 for a total win of a whopping 74 bucks. So really nothing too great there. Cup and handle pattern, no continuation or follow through on that. C O T Y. So COTY uh, traded twice here, one for an attempt of a break on this green candle, or maybe it was a red candle here, 5,000 shares, starts to pull back. I took it off for a loss of like 140 bucks. And then the following candle, we start to press up again. So I get long, 5,000 shares, it breaks up. I get filled at 1144, or wait, is that right? Yeah, I get filled at 1144, pops up to 1146. I take it off. I'm seeing that the momentum's not gonna continue in this move, so. Nonetheless, small $83 loss on that trade. 
Um, I ended up trading FCEL today, which I would normally never trade, but I did trade this. I traded 14,000 shares on this dip right here. Bought in 14,000 shares at 41.68, sold at 42, or yeah, 0.423, right? What is that? Yeah, 40, so bought in at 41 cents, sold at 42 cents for a whopping 79 bucks. You really can't make any money trading these unless you trade it with heavy share size, which I did, but even with the spread fills, 79 bucks, nothing there. Um, and then NVIDIA we traded once a day as well. So NVIDIA opened up this morning with a short, second candle of the day. Uh, so I'm getting short 500 shares on NVIDIA here at 165.03, drops down. I cover 400 at 164.90, and then I cover the last 100 shares at 165.14 for a small loss on those 100 shares. And then you get a total of 42 bucks. So decent amount of trades today, not getting any follow through on the trades, still inched my way for a green day. It's not a big green day. It's not the most successful green day, but it's green. You're going to have days like this where you try these trades uh, and the momentum is not in your favor and they just don't work out the way you want. And you have to be willing to take your trades off quick, take the money that you do get and be able to understand the market you're in so that you don't continuously trade into not so good setups or hold trades you shouldn't be holding. Uh, so definitely starting to feel that summer slowness in the market. And it also makes sense. I mean, it's the week of 4th of July too, so not surprised. But nonetheless, ending the day up uh, 442 bucks with the open swing trade, so that could easily change. Uh, but solid day, up at least a couple hundred bucks on the day. Can't complain. So hope you guys liked the video. Hope you learned something new, and I'll see you guys on the next video.